Today, I'm going to show you how to create a basic single page view application with Xcode and the programming language Swift. For this purpose, we're going to create a new Xcode project, which is the second choice you got on the start screen. The important thing, or not the important thing, but for our demo application, which includes a button and a label, and the application counts the button clicks and displays the label. A single view application, as the first choice given, is perfectly that what we needed. So we hit next here. Then we're gonna create a product name, which is click count. Yeah, this is my name, the organization identifier, the language, which is default Objective-C. We have to switch it to Swift. We're gonna say universal, include unit test. Yeah, man, we don't need it right now, so we exclude it. And we're gonna hit next. Now we're gonna create uh, the folder where the project is stored, which is on my desktop. And I hit create. So what Xcode does is it creates the basic functions or the basic menu. We're gonna see the project structure, which contains the app delegate, which is basically the same like the app delegate.h, which was the header file in Objective C, and app delegate.m file, which was the code file behind, is now the app delegate.swift file. And here are all functions or so called functions which are in Swift uh, declared with a func uh, keyword, which are called from the operating system, and the view controller.swift is the code which is called what happens in the U. And we're gonna see the main story board. And this is our program right now, which you see is empty. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna create our button and our label control. For this purpose, we have to switch here to the control uh, the control menu. And we're going to search for button. And we simply can drag and drop it. We're going to rename it to click me. And we're going to position it in the middle somewhere. <laughs> At least I tried. And the second control is our label. And this is underneath it. And we're going to create a default text, which is displayed when the application starts and it displays the user you clicked the button zero times and we're gonna position it this order in the middle now of course we're gonna make this a little bit greater you can uh, insert multiple labels for the text and a separate label for the count but in this purpose it's perfectly fine that we're gonna show it right here. The next thing, and this is the very important thing is, we're gonna need to create a relationship between those two controllers and the view controller.swift to get logic behind our view and our controllers. And for this, we can show uh, our interface, yeah? Our UI window um, beneath our view controller, and now this is very, very neat, very good for mix code. If we hit the control button, we can draw a line, which, as we go here in our view controller, the Swift file, it gives us the possibility to insert an outlet action or outlet collection. Now this is our button. If we release the mouse we have uh, some options here which are the connection type is an outlet an action outlet collection we're going for an action because we want to do something if the button is clicked now we say btn uh, click me this is my naming convention you can call it whatever you want for the type we're gonna go for a UA button because it is defined as a UA button touch up inside this is the basic method that's called if you release the button it's perfectly fine 
arguments sender and we're gonna say connect now what happened if you look here uh, is that xcloud generates an IV action which is uh, the phenomenon for interface build action funk about click me and this function is called when the buttons click now we need the same thing but an IB outlet or IB uh, yeah IB outlet for our label and we're gonna do this right here and we're gonna go up we say outlet we say LBL uh, count which is from type your label to our week that doesn't matter right now to us and we're gonna get connect now what we've done so far is we have created a connection between the label and the button which is defined in the IB outlet which is the label and the IB action which is the button now if you go in here uh, we have to do one more thing we have to define a variable for our count and as we see right now we do not need the center column because Swift doesn't require it now we have a global or a member variable which is accessible in the view controller if you're gonna write now here and say button click me what we're gonna do is to increase the count so we say count equals count plus plus I know there are different ways to oh I'm sorry there are different ways to implement this this is not the shortest way but it shows perfectly what happened to you we're going to increase the count by its own value plus one and what we have to do is to set the label text to the new value so we can access the label of lbl count and the dot text property which uh, as you see here requires a string value so we're gonna write our new text here which is the same as shown before you clicked the button zero times so that means if we're gonna click the button increase the count but it shows the message that's already been shown on the view i view controller now we have to replace the zero with the actual count value and in Swift, this is uh, possible through uh, a backslash what you have to do is to enter the backslash and then you can access between the two brackets uh, the count and now script knows with this identifier there must be uh, a variable which is not static text it must be replaced with the actual value and if you're gonna go there and select let's say the iPhone SE because it has a small screen and now hit run we should see our application with those two controls and if we hit the click on me button or to be specific if it release our uh, push up inside then the click count should be increasing so we are looking for the simulator which is loading and then we see click me and you click the buttons zero times if you now click the button once oh i got to it twice and now we're going to see here you click the button two times and every time we click the button now it's uh, <laughs> uh yeah outside of the view but you can see basically what this app does it increases the click uh, count by every single click and this is done with basically these two lines of code of course you can uh, write also in this here but for readability i would suggest you this and that is basically the very very simple hello world or first swift program which you like to do on different program languages simply throw a button on it throw a label on it and show you how to interact it you have to create the ib outlet for the label and you have to create an ib action for the actual button guys i hope you enjoyed the video and in the future i will continue on the swift series if you like it hit the like button subscribe to my channel 
And as always, if you have any further wishes for videos, do not hesitate and contact me directly via YouTube. Thank you guys and have a good day.